year ago, a little less than a year ago. I asked the doctor, I said, is there some kind of a cognitive test? There have been 63,000 new coronavirus cases today, okay? So perhaps try and focus a bit more on that rather than... Mm. If you're in the office of the presidency, we have to be sure. Yes, but taking one online test doesn't mean you're equipped to be president of the United States particularly a test that appears to have Peppa Pig at the top of it. And I said, is there some kind of a test? He said there actually is, and he named it, whatever it might be. OK, so you can't remember the name of the memory test that you took. No, this is going really well. Carry on. The last questions are much more difficult. OK, give him an example. Show how super intelligent you are. Like you'll go person. What? Woman. Man. W camera. <sighs> TV. Oh, right, and so they'd say, uh, please work out the unfinished equation at the bottom of the page using the numerical value of each letter mentioned in those words. Something like that, yeah? So they'd say, could you repeat that? <sighs> so it's person, woman... Man, camera, TV! Man, camera, TV. OK, that's very good. If you get it in order, you get extra points. Yes, and if you do it in reverse order, you get a free sticker and a lollipop. Can we just get back to the 63,000 new coronavirus cases today? Okay. Now he's asking you other questions. Other questions. And then 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes later, they say, remember the first question? Not the first, but the 10th question. We betray the efforts of the past if we fail to push back against bigotry in all its forms. However harshly, loudly, rudely challenged. However harshly, loudly, rudely challenged at each point. We can create the change we seek. We can create the change that we seek. If you get it in order, you get extra points. They said nobody gets it in order. It's actually not that easy, but for me it was easy. 